let's see how to use a Kanban board. So Kanban boards are used to visualize your work. Kanban boards can be used as story Kanbans or portfolio Kanban where you can see your epics and features or it can be your task Kanban as well. So usually most uh, commonly used ones are the story Kanban. Uh, so I'll show you one. So basically based on how where you have actually created that board that will be available in uh, usually in the track or uh, wherever you actually created it. So for example, there is one task Kanban which I have created. So by default, uh, if you create a Kanban board, it will have the basic standard states of a use story. So define in progress, completed and accepted. So there is backlog as well. So I think that's disabled. So let's have a look here. So the backlog column is disabled. So you can actually enable it and save. So you will see the backlog as well. So backlog define in progress completed. So if you look at here, even the, your defects are part of your backlog. When you actually start working on a particular user story, uh, you can manually move it to in progress or you don't really need to move it so for example if you have a couple of tasks under a use story and when someone starts working on a task that means when he gives uh, sets the task to in progress so that this use story will automatically move to in progress so in the standard state kanban you don't really need to move it through the kanban board except for from the backlog to define and completed to accept it. So when, once you complete all your tasks in a user story, uh, the, the user story will move automatically to the completed state, uh, completed column. Uh, but in order to accept a user story, someone have to I, either go into the user story and accept it, if you move to accept it. So that will be moved to accept it. Or you can actually just drag and drop so when you drag and drop it so the state will automatically move to accept it for example this use story this use story it is currently in progress so if I show you that it is in progress and if I move that to accept it the state will change to accept it okay so state is now accepted now let's look at uh, another scenario where um, you will have custom states. So usually Kanban teams will have custom states rather than this um, inbuilt states. So I'll show you an example. So a mock Kanban. So so this will, these are your custom states. For example, none in development, in test, ready for integration testing, ready for release. So you've got with, um basically one two three four five states which are not really your standard states so basically none will be your backlog and in development in test ready for integration testing will be your in progress and ready for release might be either completed or accepted so that mapping you can actually provide so whoever have got a project admin access can actually change it so in this case the none is backlog and all others are in progress so i'm going to change this to accepted and you can have swim lanes also in the kanban board so let's see yeah so if you look at it there are some lanes where it is this kanban board have custom states plus work is allocated based on the application yeah so now let's look at a scenario where you actually move your uh, use stories along this thing so right now this particular use story the state is backlog okay it's backlog so based on the mapping what we have given is when the story moves to in development that goes to in progress so when someone ready a developer takes this use story for development he will manually move it to in progress no, in development sorry um, so that means based on the mapping it should have moved to in progress in progress 
so that happens automatically and when in test so basically it moves here someone takes for testing he'll move it in here uh, and you see a red color here because there is a whip limit called work in progress limit so the whip limit um, defined is two so that means at any point in time you can only have two uh, stories in development so since you might have you have actually three in this column that's why it is showing in red into three so when you right now it is only two so it's still not red if I move this here it will become red when we move to ready for release this is supposed to be accepted so let, let's look at that use story so that means it is accepted yeah so actually before moving in these things you will try to do all the tasks which are there and uh, then need to be completed at that particular column so for, for example usually different people are doing it so when it is in test the tester will complete that task testing task and then he will manually move it also on a kanban board uh, you can define what need to be shown on the cards so that's by clicking on this button so you can right now i have only um, selected any defects if it is there show any discussions and tasks so i want to display the business owner and something else let me have a look so i need to find out the feature also apply so now i can see the feature and the tasks as well the defects also also you can filter your results based on owner so if i choose my name i will only stories which are assigned to me i can clear the filter um, i can search based on name and i can add advanced filters also just in case if you want to filter on a particular field and you can give that as well and you can actually save if you choose a lot of filters and you can actually save that as a view so you just save a new view and that view can be if you have that proper access you can share it with the team or you can keep it with or just just keep it keep it with you so that's a user story kanban board similarly uh, you will have portfolio kanban board as well so which will show you the features or epics yeah the states will be different of course and one more thing i forgot to mention so these are the exit policies so you can have define the policies in um, your kanban board so right now here there is no policy so if you click here yeah there is exit agreement so basically what it need to be completed in order to move a particular use story from from here to here so this says must have passed full requirement analysis then it moves to in development yeah so you can either show it or not show so this will be written or you can actually edit it by giving clicking on that button if you need more help on the usage of kanban board go to the settings from any kanban board and click on the help so that will take straight into the Kanban board help pages in the Rally website. Thank you.